to the family we're born with and to the family we make along the way. And most importantly, to Richmond! <laughs> What's happening outside? I don't know. What's that? What is that? Ho, 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 Higgins is. Well, you know Jeremy Swift is Leslie Higgins in the Emmy, Golden Globe, and Screen Actors Guild award-winning Apple TV series Ted Lasso, and Downton Abbey fans will remember him as Spratt, Dame Maggie Smith's scene-stealing butler. But did you also know he's a singer who has a new song coming out? Jeremy Swift joins us now. Good morning. Good morning, how are you? Jeremy, I see you're sitting on a sofa and that tells me you are not prepared to play anything for us this morning. <laughs> <laughs> Is you have a, do you have an oblow nearby or a mandolin? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh no, all my, all my stuff's upstairs. Uh, yeah, that'd be, that'd be, it'd cause a bit of a hiatus, I think, if I had to run off screen. Well, before we talk about Ted Lasso or anything else, we have to you know, get your reaction to the Queen's passing and I mean, as, as, as a Brit, you know, give us, a, it's, it's a different perspective than, you know, we have here. Sure. Well, you know, she's always been there for the country and uh, she's been there, you know, for decades. She was crowned when my uh, parents, my late parents, were teenagers. Here's an image. My mum's, my granddad was a TV engineer, right, <clears throat> in the early 50s. And he had the only TV set in the street when the Queen was crowned. So the whole street that my mum lived in wow. came to squeeze in this oh, in, a, wow. in a tiny living room to watch that. Wow. Unbelievable. Well, yeah. as, we, as we move on to Ted Lasso, we know you're from Downton Abbey. Ted Lasso, did you have any idea that this would take off the way it did? I mean, were you reading these scripts? And I mean, it took off as this feel-good guy. Everyone loves this show. Yeah. Uh, no, I, I couldn't foresee that it would have the impact that it impact. That sounds very British, doesn't it? Impact that it has. Um, I, I loved the scripts and I loved doing it, um, but. I just never know what the public might like. I've been in things where I've thought, this is good, isn't it? Everybody's going to like it, and they, they oh. have. Um, but um, <laughs> um, but I, I remember when the show started streaming and just looking on social media, not that I'm a big social media person, but I thought I was just waiting for somebody to be toxic about it and go, yeah, this show, me, me, me. Yeah. Um, <laughs> did. And they, they were just all like, I love it. I love the show. I love the guy. No, 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 no. Oh, I think this is unusual, isn't it? it you know, so, um, I, and, but it continues. I think because it streams, people seem to continually be discovering it and it's it's quite revelatory for people because they go oh yeah i'll give it a watch and then they go oh, it's the best thing i've ever seen um I, can i just, just say i'm interested in the fact that your twitter voice and your fan voice is american guy yeah yeah what is that <laughs> We're so uncouth. Was it? I didn't realize I did that. But yeah, yeah. You did. I mean, it's fine. That's, you're probably right. It's okay. That's all right. They like the show. So how did this whole thing, you, did you, have you, you been a musician? Your parents were music teachers, Jeremy. That tell us about this side of your life no one might know about. <laughs> um, well, I was always going to be making music anyway, um, but I just thought, well, I just want to want people to hear about it, so I thought I'd publicise it a little bit more. I mean, this year also I I did. Um, there was a friend of mine did a, a, a one-person show about Dracula, if you can imagine that, and I did the uh, all, all the, uh, the the sound design for that. So I'm always tinkering away, doing something. Um, and uh, so yeah, I've been working on this album for about you know three years, but it's been sporadic because of the pandemic. And uh, I, I put together this video with um, these crazy guys called the Hadley Brothers, and, uh, and I'm, I'm very pleased with it. Um, well, Jeremy, we, out, we, it, we have a clip uh, of something of your music. <laughs> let's let's uh, pause for a moment just so our viewers can uh, get a taste of it. Sure. Heads video. Yeah, that's much more pop than I was expecting. 
pretty cool. Oh, wow. it's, uh, it's, 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 it looks like an 80s video, right, Jeremy? Oh, does it? <laughs> um, yeah, um, I, yeah, some people would say that I'm probably a bit stuck in the 80s in some way. Oh, I love uh, it. You know, it, was, it was the formative years for me for, for pop music. Well, the late 70s, actually, into the 80s uh, was the, the, the period that I really love. I think 77 to 83 is such a fertile period of, for, for pop music. Um, but I, ju I just, I, I don't intentionally um, do that. It probably just comes out because I that's what you know I've soaked up yeah. um but the actual bottom end of that started initially was started to sound like a, a grime track <laughs> and I thought I to do with that because I'm not you know I'm not a rapper um <laughs> so, so I, ju I just sort of kind of changed it around but um yeah but uh, thank you for playing that yeah sure. I'm, I'm very well, it, I, the, it sounds very cool. The new song comes out uh, October 14th, and we enjoy you and everything you've done, Jeremy. Thanks so much for joining us this morning. Uh, oh, it's a pleasure. Thank you, guys. Thank Have you. Have a good day. You too.